I am the company has faced a strong competition to its six core models after appearing off Intel Core i3 CPU series based on Intel Skylake microarchitecture. Today you are again with jesse.com and we are going to test i3 6100. Obviously, four core models, Intel Core i7 i5, are the estimable representatives of Intel Skylake series. However, not every can afford spending three or four hundred dollars for a CPU, and thus users are often turning their attention to cheaper solutions such as Intel Core i3. An affordable price apart, they have another significant advantage: Intel hyper-threading technology support. It was not so apparent in the first generation of Core i3 because then applications with multi-thread support could be it on one hand. However, recently the idea of computational process multi-sequencing has reached a cardinally new level, especially in games. At the time of the review, the Intel Skylake line included six solutions with i3 index. Firstly, let's consider the most affordable option, Intel Core i3-6100, which cost ranges about $135. The box version of i3-6100 comes in a small blue package with a short description of the processor features. Inside the CPU apart there is also a standard cooling system and a user's manual. This model pertains to Intel Skylax series, accordingly it is fully compatible with LGA-1151 socket in terms of engineering and electrics. Heat parameters were stated at 51 watts, therefore the vendor has used a fairly simple option of a standard cooler. Intel Core i3-6100 has no support for Intel Turbo Boost 2.0 technology. Its speed is constant under high loads, 3700 MHz, and does not change within a certain range. During the system timeout, processor speed reduces to 800 MHz and voltage supply up to 0.720 volts. The processor can operate with two RAM types, DDR4 and DDR3L. The first one ensures stable module frequency of 2133 MHz and the second one 1600 MHz. The maximum level is stated at 64 GB. Parameters of the integrated graphics core Intel HD Graphics 530 are in a full compliance with iGPU, which are installed on leading models of Intel Skylake series. Moreover, the frequency ratio had almost no changes, 350 MHz of rated value and 1050 in turbo mode. The processor heated to a maximum temperature of 55 degrees at a maximum load produced by AIDA64 utility, whereas its ancestors from i3 series, based on Intel Haswell microarchitecture, up to 67 degrees. Thus, we can conclude that the modified thermal interface was implemented not only in the leading models from Intel Skylake line, but in more affordable solutions as well. Friends, please remember that you can also choose opponents for the processor from the database and update the charts. We have used the following equipment for testing and comparing the processors. The very point of our interest during the testing was how far Intel Core i3-6100 would be ahead relative to its predecessors from the fourth generation of Intel Core processors. As we retain the top representatives of Intel Skylake series i7-6700K and i5-6600K did not show the best results in this regard, though there was some anxiety here too, but it turned out to be groundless. The review hero has easily managed to get over i3-6160, featuring a south advantage of 13%. Also, i3-6100 is featuring a fairly smart performance compared to its nearest lineup neighbors. It lags from 4-core i5-6400 by 13% and its impressive advantage of Intel Pentium J4400 amounts up to 26%. In other words, we have a very interesting option in terms of performance. And what about the price? Far and by, not too bad, retailers are trading it about $135. In our opinion, it is a fellow worthy contender for the medal best price opportunity ratio. But AMD company has its own nominee for this title. This is AMD FX6350, which caved in only 1% to the hero of the review during the testing. However, it should be noted that it was tested by old methods, so there is a limited number of comparable benchmarks. It is also important to consider that we are talking about an average ride. In some cases, the difference could be as high as 30%, both minus and plus. 
Intel's Skylake microarchitecture prevailed in single-threaded applications, while AMD FX6350 had a certain advantage in applications and games optimized for multi-core features so it is rather difficult to prefer any of the options. Besides, the price difference between i3-6100 and FX-6350 is also minimal and makes about $5. The only leading features of the Review Hero over its direct competitor are power consumption and heat dissipation, 51 watts versus 125. Also, this point is unlikely to become a final reason for choosing a processor. Indeed, during a PC assembly, users are often guided by total cost of components. And now, in the middle price segment, we have a situation that AM3 Plus platform, alike in operational features, is cheaper than LGA1151. Shortly, i3-6100 as well as FX6350 has its own advantages and disadvantages. And their race for the buy is going to be hard and violent. Also, we have to say a few words about possibilities of the integrated video core Intel HD Graphics 530. You could hardly play in modern games at minimal graphic settings, but it fairly copes with some undemanding strategies or platformers. In despite of the locked multiplier, Intel Core i3-6100 has a pretty good overclocking potential, which is another significant advantage over predecessors of Intel Haswell series. As you can see at the screenshot, we managed to increase the core reference frequency up to 126.49 MHz, which has overclocked the processor up to 26.5% relative to the nominal value. For this reason, we had to increase the voltage up to 1.424 volt to enable energy saving technologies and to use a special BIOS firmware. In total, there is nothing supernatural, any user can produce the similar manipulations. However, some collateral effects appeared after optimizing the system parameters. The first one was determined by disabling IVX instructions. Fortunately enough, it is used less frequently in real applications, and the second one by incorrect operation of processor core heat sensors. For example, in this case, one sensor showed a temperature of 70 degrees, while the second 79 degrees. It's hard to say what value is more precise, but in any case it is still a certain margin before the critical 100 degrees. It was impossible to overclock the integrated graphics core. Average gain of processing speed made almost 17%, which is a fine result for a processor of such level. Incidentally, the obtained result is not a limit for the processor. Some overclockers managed to conquer even the level of 6000 MHz. The highest record makes 6287 MHz, which was obtained by an eager beaver from South Korea using extreme cooling in liquid nitrogen. In fact, Intel Core i3-6100 turned over to be unexpectedly better. Oddly enough, but this is the very point where Intel's Skylake microarchitecture performed all its entirety, which is proved by 30% advantage over its predecessors from Intel Haswell series. Here with, Intel Core i3 has retained all of its major benefits, relatively reasonable cost, low heat emission and multi-thread support. Owing to the last feature, i3-6100 can even try to compete with four core processors of elementary level, for example i5-6400. Surely it is not a fair rival, yet four full cores are taking their toll in multi-aspect tasks. Also, the breakaway of 13% cannot be considered a crucial one. But the most important thing is how the main hero showed itself relative to its direct competitor, AMD FX6350. The average difference in productivity made about 1% in favor of the review hero. Taking into account this fact as well as a lower TDP level and a sound overclocking potential, the preference is not so obvious in the middle price segment. And if AMD distributors have arrived at their finger ends for further price reduction, and then Core i3 processors still have some reserve. For example, today the difference between recommended and actual price of i3-6100 makes about $18. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.